A long time ago, in the 1700s, there was a time when scientists didn't know much about electricity. That was a crazy time when electricity was referred to as electrical fluid. Legend has it that a scientist who was a prodigy named Ben Franklin took his kite out in the middle of a thunderstorm to prove his theory of electricity. Thanks to Mr. Franklin, we now have the terms positive and negative terminals of a cell or a battery. But he got one thing very wrong. He claimed that electricity goes from positive to the negative terminal. Wrong! We know that in metals, the charge carrier is the electron, which is negative. So charge should go from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. This did not become apparent to us until 1897, when J.J. Thomas discovered the electron. To distinguish the two theories, Ben Franklin's incorrect theory of current is known as the conventional current. The real direction of electron flow is sometimes called the charge current. It's going to sound ridiculous, but the conventional current is still the standard way of analyzing circuits today. So at school, when your physics teacher mentions current, that defaults to the conventional current. That's because between the 1700s and 1800s, scientists had already written tons of rules and books using the conventional current. It's just too much of a hassle for scientists to rewrite all these books and all these rules.